Greetings colleagues and friends at the ASTMH meeting in Seattle and around the world. I'm honored to be making this announcement regarding the opening of applications for a new program near to my heart and likely to many of you, the Muele Malechela Mentorship Program for Women in NTDs hosted by the WHO Regional Office for Africa. In February of this year, we lost one of Africa's most highly respected female scientists and the visionary behind the 2030 WHO Roadmap for NTDs when Dr. Muela Malechela lost her battle with cancer. As most here will know, Muele was the director of the WHO Department of Neglected Tropical Diseases Control at our headquarters in Geneva. As a cherished colleague, sister and friend, she had before that served as a director of my office of the regional director for Africa. She left a lasting legacy in the transformation of our work in the region. Prior to joining WHO, Muele served as the director general of the National Institute for Medical Research in the United Republic of Tanzania, the first woman to occupy this position, and as the founding director of the National Lymphatic Filariasis Elimination Program in Tanzania. Equally impactful to her esteemed career in global public health was Muele's unique and sincere ability to touch individual lives, including inspiring other women in science. Anyone who knew Muele knows that she had an indomitable, fierce fighting spirit for NTDs that was only matched by her genuine care for the fellow travelers who walked beside her while on this earth. Muele gave freely of her time and talents to mentor and motivate the next generation of global health professionals, particularly women. This mentorship program is intended to keep her legacy alive, explicitly focused on African women living in African countries who work in the NTD sector. The Muele Malechela mentorship program aims to help mid-career women scientists overcome barriers to realizing their potential and become leaders and champions of NTD elimination at home and internationally. I first announced the formation of this program at the Kigali Summit for NTDs and Malaria earlier this year, and now I'm pleased to announce that the inaugural call for applications will open in December. With the generosity of a long-term commitment from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the program will fittingly run through 2030 to honor Mueller's own commitment to the 2030 WHO NTD Roadmap. Starting this year and continuing annually for the next seven years, five women will be selected for this prestigious opportunity. They will each be matched one-to-one -one with a current global health leader for a structured mentorship program that will last for two years. Each woman will also be given a stipend of 15,000 US dollars that she can use for leadership training, skills building, and other career development opportunities. In addition to mentoring, the women will join an exclusive peer network of fellow high potential female leaders in NTDs, including women in their cohort and alumni of the program. I have committed to being personally engaged with this program, including being among the first mentors for it. I'm very pleased to share this program with you. Please visit the WHO Afro website, www.afro.who.int by mid-December, and consider whether you or someone you know should apply for either a mentee or mentor role and encourage them to do so. I'd also like to express my gratitude to our partners working together to make this program possible, including the ASTMH, the END Fund, and many other dear friends and colleagues of Muele who have come together under the Friends of Muele banner to honor her legacy. We are convinced this program will carry forward Muele's legacy in a way that honors her lasting influence in our own lives and in the lives of so many people served by her work. She would have wanted nothing better. Thank you.